LiDAR Laser Mounting Angle Calibration, IntelliDyne PDS. When recording LiDAR laser data, it is important, the LiDAR devices, angular mounting offsets, roll, pitch and heading, are set correctly. Date with survey lines, do not match, if the angular mounting offsets are not set, all wrong values are used. See this example, the customer complains the data, of different survey lines, does not match. Artifacts, such as height and elevation shifts, are noticed. Use the PDS calibration utility, to calibrate the LiDAR laser mounting angle offsets. The steps to calibrate the mounting angles, of the LiDAR laser, are Run and log survey lines, sail for each mounting angle a specific survey line a longer object. Create a file set of the survey lines used for the mounting angle calibration. Start the PDS calibration utility. Select the LiDAR device to calibrate. Calibrate the roll, pitch, and your mounting angle by moving sliders. Adjust the sliders such the data of the logged surveyed lines matches. And at last, Apply the angle calibration values to the LiDAR PDS device properties. And run your LiDAR laser survey. We start with running and logging the survey lines used for the calibration. For the roll calibration, sail and log two survey lines in the same direction and on the same side that are offset from each other to an object. The object can be any feature such as a lamp post or sea wall. Log the lines. For the pitch calibration, sail to opposite lines on either side of the object. The object should be tall, for example a lamp pole or a crane. Alternatively, it is possible to sail to survey lines in opposite direction of the object. This is only possible if the LiDAR laser can scan to port and starboard sight of the vessel. Log the lines. Sail opposite survey lines on either side of the object for example a sea wall. This are the same lines as used for the pitch calibration. Alternatively, it is possible to sail two survey lines, on the same side, and in the same direction of an object. One survey line is close to the object, the other survey line is further away, 30 to 40 meters. Log the lines. Next step is to start the PDS calibration utility, create a file set, and to select the LiDAR device. Start the PDS calibration. Open the Processing menu. Select Calibration. The calibration utility opens with the file set editor. Create a file set for the LiDAR mounting angle calibration. Press New. Enter a name for the file set. And press Save. Select the files to add to the file set. And press OK. The file set is created. It may be useful to create, besides a file set containing all the calibration lines. Also a file set with only the lines used for the roll calibration, a file set with only the lines for the pitch calibration, and a file set with only the lines for the your calibration. Press the new button to create the additional file sets. In this example, we created a file set including all the calibration lines for the roll, pitch and your calibration, and three separate file sets, for only the roll, only pitch, and only your calibration. We select the file set including all the calibration lines. Press OK. The calibration utility opens with a control pane, a multi-beam area editing view and two 3D box views. Select from the device selection, the LiDAR laser device. Select as object mode, the 3D surfaces mode, to calibrate the LiDAR laser. The other mode, bottom profiles, is only used to calibrate a multibeam. The multibeam area editing view, has the same functions as the other PDS 3D views. Hold the left mouse button, and move the mouse to rotate the data around its axis. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Double click on a point of the image to center 
and to make it the origin of the grid axis. Data is shown in high resolution and in lower resolution. Increase the edit circle size to show more data in high resolution. Turn the multi-beam layer from file option always on to show the live data. No data is shown if turned off. To calibrate the LiDAR data it is best to set the beam color mode to file set. Each file is indicated by a unique color. The laser scan color mode must in this case set to beam color mode. If you set the laser scan color mode to a different mode, for example, laser color and intensity, then the data is not shown following the beam color mode, but shown as intensities, as we see in this example. Set the laser scan color mode to beam color mode if you calibrate the mounting angles. The calibration utility opens with two 3D box views added. The 3D box view shows the data included of a drawn profile. The profile is drawn in the 3D multi-beam area editing view on object to calibrate the LiDAR laser. Press the Define Profile button. Draw the profile. The data is shown in the 3D box view. You can always adjust the sizes of the profile by dragging the profile grippers. The data shown in the 3D box view is updated accordingly. It is also possible to move the profile by holding the left mouse button pressed and moving the mouse. Just place the profile over the object of interest. The 3D box view has the same functions as the other PDS 3D views. You can increase or decrease the point size. If you turn on the option, connect the beams with lines, then you see the beams are now connected. Or if you like you can turn the box layer on or off. The profile box is shown, if turned on. You can also turn on the spotlight. And by moving the spotlight ball, you can change the illumination of your data. All kind of tools to examine your data as best as possible. Now start to calibrate the roll, pitch, and your mounting angle by moving sliders. Adjust the sliders such the data of the log surveyed lines matches. When we have selected our file set, it is best to roughly align the data with each other first. In this example, we see the data does not match at all. Use the sliders to match the data roughly. The OR causes the data shifts in position. The pitch causes the data tilts, and the roll causes the data shifts in height. In this example, we adjust the YOR to shift the data on each other. Just roughly, for now. We change the pitch to tilt the data such it has more or less the same tilting, and we change the roll to match the height. In this stage, just roughly. And now we will start to calibrate accurate the angles. Start with the roll mounting angle calibration. For the roll mounting angle calibration, we draw a profile over a standing object, for example a sea wall. Press in the 3D box view the Define Profile button. Draw the profile over the sea wall. Adjust the profile. We see the data covered by the profile in the 3D box view. Turn the Connect Beam with Lines option on 
we can now clearly see the height. Rotate the data by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse. A roll mounting angle error gives a different in height. As we now see. Adjust the roll slider such the height of the data matches. As we see now, the roll is adjusted such the height matches. B. Pitch Mounting Angle Calibration Be aware, when calibrating the pitch, this will influence the roll calibration. Readjust if necessary. For the pitch calibration, we draw a profile over a tall object. Draw the profile from the other 3D box view, so we can still monitor the height in the first 3D box view. Press the Define Profile button. Draw the profile. Adjust the profile. The data covered by the profile is shown in the 3D box view. We see a minor tilting difference between the data files. You see this the best on a tall object. Increase the point size to see it better. Monitor the data from different perspectives. Move the pitch slider to match the tilting of the data with each other. Also notice when adjusting the pitch, this affects also the height. See the effect of changing the pitch angle. This means, when adjusting the pitch angle, it might be necessary to readjust the roll angle as well. Keep monitoring the data in both 3D box views when adjusting the pitch. And keep monitoring it from different perspectives. Both height and tilting looks quite good now. Be your mounting angle calibration. Be aware when calibrating the yaw. This may influence the roll pitch calibration. Readjust if necessary. For the yaw calibration, draw a profile over an object to distinguish position shifts easily. For example, a tall object. We use in this example the same object as used during the pitch angle calibration. Adjust the profile in the required size and position. When we monitor the data, we see in this example the data does not match, it is shifted from each other. Monitor, from different perspectives, to see clearly the data shifts. Move the, your slider, to match the data. As we do now. We adjust the OR until the data matches as best as possible. See also the effect of the angle adjustments on the data. If we touch the pitch angle, then notice the change. Adjust until all data matches. You can also decide to place the other profile on the same object, to see, at once, the object from different perspectives. Drag the profile. You can place the profile perpendicular to the other, to see the object from two sides, and then adjust the angle.
The same object is shown from two perspectives in the 3D box views. But of course, you can also just rotate the data in the 3D box views. The last step is to apply the calibration values to the LiDAR PDS device properties and run your LiDAR survey in real time. When the calibration of the roll, pitch, and your mounting angles are completed, then your obtained values are listed in the boxes above the sliders. You can enter these values manually in the angle value boxes, but you can also press the full calibration button. The calibration values are applied to all the files of the file set, which means that also the angle calibration value boxes are filled with the obtained calibration values. If you press the logging button, then the values as listed in the angle calibration boxes are applied to selected log files. Select the log files and press OK. Press the file set button to apply the values as shown in the angle calibration boxes to a selected file set. Select the file set and press OK. Press the vessels button to apply the angle values as shown in the angle boxes to the LiDAR laser properties of a selected vessel configuration. Select the vessel configuration and press open. When you now open the configuration and open the vessel configuration and the equipment page. Then in the LiDAR device properties. We see that our calibration angles have been taken over. We are ready to use the LiDAR laser in our survey. Troubleshooting. Always be sure you have entered for all devices the proper device offsets and you have time stamped the LiDAR laser device. It's always possible to change afterwards the calibration values in the PDS calibration or editing utility. If you have troubles to calibrate a certain angle, then you can try to select a file set which only contains the data of the corresponding angle calibration lines. You can then calibrate only this angle. The advantage is you only see the correct calibration lines, which makes the particular calibration easier. But the disadvantage is you can only calibrate this angle and you do not see the effect on the other calibrating angles. Select the file set. If you already have a calibration value, for example for the roll, then fill this value in the corresponding calibration box. Calibrate the angle as shown earlier in this movie. If the calibration is done, then note the obtained value. The value is shown above the slider. Then open the other file set. Then enter the noted value in the calibration box and continue the calibration of the other angles. But once again, be aware, when calibrating another angle this may affect this obtained angle value again. In this movie, we have seen the steps to follow to calibrate the LiDAR mounting angles. Try to find good calibration objects, take your time, and be aware, the angles affect each other. The Teledyne PDS Calibration Utility